Sandy Daner Wheeler, and I'm here with the first woman commissioner of the LPGA, Carolyn Dibbins. And Carolyn, let me thank you back for coming back to Springfield. My pleasure. Love to be here. Uh, two years now as uh, commissioner of the LPGA. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, it's been uh, it's been a very fast two years. Uh, we've gotten a lot of things done. Feel good about where we are and what's in front of us. The, um, the first year wasn't the easiest one because we were changing a lot of things. Of course. Um, but I think we're to the point that whether uh, whether one belongs in the contingency of the tournament owners or of a fan, uh, of a player, of other sponsors, I think you've got to be, feel pretty good about where the LPGA stands right now in terms of a return on investment and excitement. Well, I think that this tournament is a perfect example of what you've been trying to accomplish. 31 years at a golf course that has hosted us, uh, and it's been wonderful. We've had a wonderful 31 yes. years there, but the LPGA outgrew the rail. And now we're in this beautiful venue, and I, I feel like that's what you've been trying to accomplish, that, that, that there is a consistency across the board. And certainly the amenities for the players here are so far superior, and we're so thrilled about that. And I, it's all thanks to you. Uh, it, it's really, it's a lot of people, as you know, Sandy. You worked, uh, <laughs> a few you worked years. as a very integral part of the organization, and it takes everybody, everybody working together to make things happen. But I, I do believe that this product, um, the players, have changed. Uh, and I believe that this golf course and this club provide an awesome stage for everyone to see the display of talent and frankly, for, for fans and for sponsors to get to see just what these women are capable of. Unbelievably talented and, you know, sometimes you feel badly when you don't have all the players you want. And with this first year here at Panther Creek and, and Lorena having her family issues and not being here. But when these players go back out on tour and they say, you won't believe what you saw, what we had in Springfield. I just told my successor that she will reap the rewards as we go down the road. There's no question. Um, I think as we finish this week here, our first time at Panther Creek, I've seen the excitement yeah. from the players yeah. and from the caddies who are an important part yeah, of the absolutely. team. They love this. There's some of them that are taking <laughs> pictures of the facilities that they have access to. And, um, you know, and it's very nice. It will bring other players. We have some unique situations going on this year. Absolutely. It's a Solheim year. Uh, three uh, weeks out. Three weeks out. And we have uh, we have a few young players who have been playing just about every tournament. They sign up for just about every one, and they get to the point where they've just got to rest a week. Uh, we also have some injuries right now. Yeah, of course. Uh, we're late Natalie, in the season. Natalie would be here if it weren't yeah. for yeah. her injury. But, you know, we've got some great names here. We've got Kari Webb, uh, Hall of Famer. Know. We've got Morgan Pressel. Annika defending. Annika here <laughs> defending and very excited about it. How can you hang your head about that? Yeah. But and and the week after her engagement. I yeah. know. Well, listen, Mike McGee was an intern here with Executive Sports. So, and it was just, when I saw him last night, I said, oh, if I didn't put it together. And it's wonderful. I'm yes. so pleased for her. She's a very special person. She's a special person, and they're special together. I'm yeah, they are. Oh, them. yeah. Carolyn, thank you for spending these moments with me. You've just met Carolyn Dibbins, Commissioner of the LPGA at the State Farm Classic.